Turn it up. What is going on guys, it's NHL here and today I'm bringing you guys episode number 5 of Time for Hut. Now before I get onto this episode, I just wanted to say that I did make a mistake. It's Braden Shen. Our first line center is Braden Shen. Just had to clear that out. Thanks for letting me know guys. Thanks for uh, telling me on Twitter that I was wrong. Uh, but yeah, my mistake. Talk to the table now. His name is Braden Shen. Braden. Okay, now that we got that all set in out of the way. Uh, we basically added Hito, which we pulled in our last pack, and uh, Sonic, or whatever how the hell you pronounce the name, uh, on our third line right wing, with uh, Rutu and Hayes as our new right wings. Basically, let's get right into the game. His team name was Sons of Sons. I kind of found that a little bit funny, but nonetheless, let's get right into the game. So Hala passes one defense, and he finds uh, Rutu, who's wide open, and he's playing that away. Nice little one-timer, and we are now up one to nothing early in the first period. Uh... Mason is like good some games and bad other games, but nonetheless, good goal for us. And then here, I kind of pass it to the board, so I basically pass it to myself, then pass it to Cook. Cook's going to find Hayes, and Hayes is putting that one away. Another nice pass and play, and we are not up 2 nothing. I Okay, just as the uh, first period is ending, so let's continue. Basically, right after, right after that last goal, we're going to pass it up. And I don't know who has that puck. I forgot his name. But we are going to pass it over to Pearson. And Pearson's going to put that one away. And now we are up 3 to nothing. So we got basically back-to-back -back goals, which is pretty cool. Well, two goals in, the, I think, about 40 seconds, which is pretty cool. And then right here, it's uh, 3 nothing for ourselves. I get the puck away from him. Uh, I'm going to do a nice little back, uh, back, uh, not back, spinorama. Or kind of spinorama. Pass it to Pearson. And Pearson's putting that away again. Got tongue tied in that whole sentence. But Pearson got the goal. Is what I was trying to say. And now he has two goals for us. And with dying seconds left. I kind of got cocky. I'm like hey you know what. What if I lie down. I'm going to stop him. I did. But that didn't work. And with four seconds left. He squeaked from past Tito. So uh, moral of the story is. Don't be a douche in the last second. Because he can still score on you. Also I could have got a shadow. But that was me being stupid. Anyway, we still won on the game. We won the game 4-1, to one, as you see. And that is how the game obviously ends. So with that, we are going to roll the dice. And we are going to get a number 6. Now, actually, uh, as the dice is rolling, I just want to say that I actually didn't roll the dice. My brother did. And he got really lucky when he rolled uh, both of them. So I found that pretty cool. And you'll see what I mean by lucky. Uh, so obviously, the first one he rolled was a 6. So let's go ahead and open up this pack. And hopefully, we get someone good like... I'm hoping, like, we've been shafted so many times. Like, come on, EA, just one good pack. That's all I'm asking for. Anything higher than 89, that's not close, but whatever. It's uh, Wilson, and we got some decent players. So I can't really complain. Uh, they'll help out our team a lot. I'm going to sort out this pack, and uh, I'll catch you guys in just a bit. Actually, before this, I go on to my, showing you my team. just want to say that. Uh, it kind of inspired me that my brother rolled the dice, which kind of brought on a cool little idea of what if you guys roll the dice for me and what if you guys roll is what I'm going to use to update my, oh, uh, like, for example, instead of me rolling the dice and that determines what pack I open, you guys would roll the dice and that determines kind of what pack I'm opening. So, like, you guys would be involved in this series as well. If you guys like that idea, let me, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're interested, just let me know. I'll have my link to my Twitter down below so you can just tweet me. There. And our next game we're facing is the Montreal Canadiens versus the Minnesota Wild. Sorry about that rambling, but let's get right back into the gameplay. So basically, we have the Minnesota Wild versus the Montreal Canadiens. And I kind of got scared here because usually when I face the Montreal Canadiens, I lose. And that's what happens when you see the score right here. As Castles does like the randomest tip in ever I've seen and somehow passes Hito. And uh, he's up 1 nothing, And uh, that kind of gets me scared because I'm like, oh shit, it's going downhill from here. Unfortunately, I was completely wrong. And we actually do end up getting a goal right here so we pass one defense trying to get by the other one and we do but he trips us up here and you know what that means guys that means we're going for a penalty shot so we could basically get a goal right here if we do basically the good goal and that's exactly what i do and we're putting that one away and look at that our silver player on our fourth line gets the goal for us and we are now tied we now tie the game one to one then right after that we're gonna pass it over and look at that look who's wide open Miller is wide open, and he's going to advance the lead 2-1. to one, And now we secure the lead in the second, halfway through the second, about, yeah, 
halfway through the second. And we're still putting on the pressure here, so we're going to pass it up. Going past his defense again, and backhanded top shelf. Look at that, Wilson with the goal this time. So our new players are actually helping out our team a lot. And we are now up 3-1 to one against... Uh, I forgot his team name. Oh well. We're now up 3-1. to one. And finally, to secure the lead here, we're going to do a nice little one-timer, and we're popping that one in. And that is how the game ends, guys, with that final goal, 4-1. to one. So another good game by us, another win, and uh, hope, let's see what my brother rolls. So as you know, like I said, he got very lucky on this one, and what does he roll? He gets another 6. That is right, he got two 6s, and that means that we get to open up another jumbo gold pack so he got really lucky in this dice roll again he rolled it i just filmed it and he got really lucky and I, like i said as this pack is opening if you guys want to roll the dice and record it and send it to me so let me know i think that would be a cool little addition and i'll obviously give you credit what credit is due because it is your dice roll and in this pack we got alexander Simon. there we go our first 85 overall do you think we could crack an 87 in this poll like ever maybe not but it'd be cool to get an 87 or higher we also got chris neal and uh daniel Bure. so hope you guys enjoyed this episode guys um and as you saw best poll in this episode was alexander seven but i hope you guys enjoyed guys and i'll see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching guys it's nhl out peace